good day viewers this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exams tutoring ensuring that you ace your next exam now straight to quantitative analysis that's the calculation and then the titration aspect of yx 2025 practical chemistry now uh, this year's experiment is a titration uh between dilute hydrochloric acid and um, sodium hydrogen bicarbonate, that sodium hydrogen charles a carbonate four. We are going to pipette a known volume of sodium hydrogen charles of carbonate, usually 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube. But you know, in most cases, what is in vogue now is the 25 cm cube uh, pipette. So we're going to pipette a known uh, volume, that's about 25 cm cube of sodium hydrogen charles of carbonate four into a conical flask add two or three drops of methyl orange. Now, the moment you add methyl orange to the sodium hydrogen bicarbonate, uh, the color is going to be yellow. Now, we run the uh, dilute hydrochloric acid from the burette. At the end point or the uh, neutralization point, there's going to be a color change from yellow uh, to uh, pink, at which point you stop running the acid and then you take uh, the volume of the uh, acid used in. so uh, this is what this year's titration is going to be about somehow we have run the uh, test in the laboratory and uh, we've uh, come up with a very consistent or concordant uh, title but you still at least must try to carry out the experiment at the lab this is just a guide for you to know uh, what to do and how to calculate and all of that okay you know um you're going to have the uh, breadth within the cm cube. The unit here already, you know, covers everything. So, usually it is your initial breadth readings. Okay, let's take our rough titration, for example. Uh, the initial breadth readings read 0, 0.00 cm cube. So, when we run the uh, first uh, uh, titration, the final breadth reading is 23.10. So, when we say final minus initial you're going to get the volume of acid used uh in the burette for this uh titration so 23.10 minus 23 minus zero so you're going to get 23.10 that's for the first rough titration of course you cross that out okay now for the first titration we are taking things from where we have stopped here 23.10 23.10 is the initial Burette readings and uh, at that point our final burette reading is 45 45 minus 23.10 you get 22.90 okay um being that our final burette reading is 45 we have to fill up to get to 0, 0.00 again so when we run it this time final burette reading was 22.90 and volume of acid use was 22.90 the third titration volume of acid use was uh 22.80 this looks pretty consistent 22.90 22.90 22.80 so um the very first question we tell you to look for the average volume of acid use or volume of a it is also what we call your uh tighter uh value if it is consistent then every of the other calculation you're going to carry out is going to make sense so 22.90 plus 22.90 plus 22.80 divided by 3. We are looking for the average now. It's going to give us 22.87 cm cube. So that is the VA that we are going to use in all of our calculations. So what should the question look like after the titration? As you can see on your screen, um, the question says A is a solution of hydrochloric acid. In this case, we were not given the concentration. B is a solution containing 2.0 gram of sodium hydrogen trisocarbonate 4 in 250 cm3 solution. So in the case of B here, we were given an indirect uh, form of the uh, concentration. In this case, A is not the standard solution. B is the standard solution. So we are having a situation where we have to use B to standardize uh, A. It says put A into the burette and titrate. Repeat the exercise, obtain consistent titer, tabulate your readings, calculate the average volume of A used. The equation for the reaction involved in the titration is 
are given. Of course, we have carried out the whole of uh, questionnaire that talks about the titration. You can see that display on your screen. The title value, you can also uh, see that as well. It is about 22.87. Let's move to the B part of the question. You can see the equation of the reaction. It is one to one. So in this case, uh, for question B, it says, from your results and the information provided, calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. So as you can see on your screen, the very first question says we should, from the inf uh, your results and information provided, calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. Now, in the case of B, uh, B is not something we are going to get from the uh, titration. We can only get the concentration of B from the information we've been given. So when you talk about concentration of B in mole per dm cube, CB in mole per dm cube, as you can see here, that means the number of mole divided by the volume of the solution in dm cube. So when you look at uh, that, mole itself is mass over molar mass. So in this case, you're looking at two, if you talk about the uh, molecular mass of sodium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4, that is 84 gram per mole, 84, divided by the volume of this solution here is 250. How do you convert from CM cube to DM cube? You divide by 8,000. So the concentration of B in mole per DM cube, this will give you what you need in mole, and this will give you what you need in DM cube. So this here means 2 over 84 times this is going to turn upside down 1000 divided by 250 everything will be in mole per dm cube that is for question a which says we should calculate the concentration of b from the information provided in mole per dm cube if you compute this from your calculator you're going to get 0 0.095 mole per dm cube so that is the concentration of b in mole per dm cube. So that way, B becomes the standard solution. We are going to use this to standardize solution A. You look at the next question, it says, we should calculate the concentration of A in mole per dm cube. Now, in calculating the concentration of A in mole per dm cube, that's C A is the question. But V A here is the average title a value, which is from the titration we have calculated before. Uh, you can see that on your screen is 22.87 cm cube. And number of moles of the acid, you can see from the equation, number of moles of the acid is 1. Number of moles of the base is also 1. Volume of the base is the volume of the pipette, which is 25.00 cm cube. And the concentration of the base is what we've just calculated from the information provided. That is 0 0.095 mole per dm cube. So, so using CA, VA over CB, VB equals to NA over NB. In this case, we are looking for our CA. So it's a case of making CA the uh, subject. Making CA the subject here will mean CA equals to uh, CB, VB, NA, divided by uh, VA over NB. If we slot this into this uh, equation that way, we'll be able to get the concentration of the ACL CA in mole per dm cube. CB is 0 0.095, VB is uh, 25, N is 1, VA is the average title value 22.87, uh, times 1. If you compute this from your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.104 mole per dm cube. And that ends question B2. Question B3 says that we should calculate the concentration of the acid Ca in gram per dm cube. Of course, you need to know the link between concentration in mole per dm cube and concentration in gram per dm cube. Concentration in mole per dm cube is concentration in gram per dm cube divided by the molecular mass. So in this case, my concentration in gram per dm cube is going to be concentration in mole per dm cube times the molar mass of the 
acid. So in this case, my concentration in gram per dm cube is going to be 0 0.104 mole per dm cube as we've got uh, for question B to concentration of A mole per dm cube times when you say HCl, HCl is 36.5, you see HCl1 plus 35.5, that gives you 36.5, so times 36.5. If you compute this from your calculator, you get 3.80 gram per dm cube. So that is the concentration of A in gram per dm cube for question 3. So moving on to question four, it says, what is the volume of gas evolved in the reaction at STP, standard temperature and pressure? The gas evolved there is carbon oxide. So we've been asked, what is the volume of carbon oxide evolved at STP? At the end of the question, as you can see on your screen, you've been given your gas molar volume to be 22.4 dm cube. So uh, how do we look for the volume of this gas? You, we all know that mole equals to our volume over molar volume. So in this case, my volume becomes mole times molar volume. So in this regard, my mole here, if you look at, because I am talking uh, CO2, and the CO2 here, you see, Carbon four oxide is coming from sodium hydrogen charge or carbonate four. So I am going to be talking about the mole of this. So when you look at my B, it is 0 0.095 mole per dm cube. It means that in every one dm cube, I have 0 0.095 mole of sodium hydrogen charge or carbonate four. So since this is one mole and this is also one mole, it means that this is 0 0.095 mole. Therefore, my carbon four oxide is also going to be 0 0.095 moles. So in this case, the volume of CO2 here is going to be volume of CO2 from, is going to be 0 0.095 times 22.4 dm cube. If you compute this from your calculator, this is going to be 2.13 dm cube. So that is just about the... Uh, a uh, first uh, option for YEC 2025 uh, chemistry uh, practical quantitative analysis. And with that, we've come to the end of this uh, first series on the quantitative analysis. From myself and the entire team, it's bye for now.